Welcome back everyone to Retired by Harrison. Today we're going to be doing something different. We're going to try something new. We're going to try water drop and water splash photography. We got our props. We got a red top for the red water. We got a blue top for the, for the blue water. We got silver to add a little sheen, a little shine to just plain water. And the camera we, I'm going to be using is the Olympus TG6. Regardless of what camera you use, it can be a point and shoot, it can be a hundred dollar camera, it can be a thousand dollar camera. As long as it has a flash, are you going to attach a flash to it? Because remember, it's the flash that we're freezing the water droplets in the water splash, not the shutter speed. And I'm going to do it all in the kitchen sink. And with that being said, come along with me and I'll see you on the other side and we'll find out what we'll come up with. One correction, as you can see, I ended up using the bathroom sink instead of the kitchen sink. And the reason I did that because the bathroom sink being white, and then when the direct flash from the camera goes off, it, it hits that wall and bounce back, kind of, kind of give me a little extra backlight. And also, I just remember, I didn't say it at the beginning, some of the newer iPhones, you might be able to do the same, you know, fun photography with. It depends on the duration of the flash of the iPhone because remember it's the flash that is freezing the rain, the water drops and the splashes, not the shutter speed. And, I, and, and so tell me what you think down below. Of course, you know, while you're down there, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification button so you get all my videos. And the reason I ask you to leave a comment because if you like what you see, that motivates me to go out and do more videos. Of course, if you don't like what you see, it's more important than, than ever to leave a comment because that would also motivate me, vote, motivate me to go out and do more videos so you'll like them next time. Because remember, without positive feedback, good feedback motivates you, and negative, I should say, feedback in a way when they're telling you're doing something wrong, that also motivates you so you go out and try to correct it. Because remember, photography is always a learning, growing process. You know, I say it all the time. When it comes to photography, no one knows it all. And of course, the more you learn about photography, the more you learn you didn't know. And as always, I want to thank you for coming along with me on my photographic journeys. And I will see you next time. 